Welterweight champion Kamar Usman is uncertain who his next opponent is, as his heated rival Jorge Masvidal turns his attention towards a BMF rematch with Nate Diaz. This leaves Usman calling for a fight with Conor McGregor, giving him the chance to prove he is the pound for pound great across three weight divisions. Conor, that, that's why I said Conor, Conor, this would be history. Like, I know a lot of people are trying to kind of on it and say, oh, Conor doesn't deserve it. Okay, but the next guy that's deserving of the fight would be Leon Edwards. He can't get in the country. So, mm -hmm. so what? Mm -hmm. well, if Conor can make this fight happen, why wouldn't we fight Conor? He just fought at 170. He looked great. Mm -hmm. Like, like, Cowboy Cerrone beat a lot of guys that were ranked in, in, at 170. Yeah. You know, he did very well at 170. <clears throat> And, and and Connor went out there and, and you know and starts him. I mean, obviously, I, I like Cowboy. Cowboy's my guy, but Connor went out there and got the job done in less than a minute. So how could people sit here and say that Connor does, is not deserved? And and this is we're about making history here. He's saying that he's the pound for pound greatest of all time across yep. three divisions. Yep. This is your chance to prove it. Go out there and win the third belt yep. in the third division. So yep. why wouldn't we make that fight? I'm gonna give him the opportunity. If Connor wants it, let's do it. But Connor's quiet now. <laughs> Why is Connor quiet? Fighter, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, some people might still say, "Oh, yeah, he's too small." But Masvidal was a lightweight fighter. Mm -hmm. You know, RDA was a lightweight fighter. You know, Nate Diaz was a lightweight fighter. Anthony Pettis was a lightweight fighter and fought as low yeah. as one forty-five. Came up to welterweight and knocked out Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. You know, so I think it's just it's ridiculous for people to just sit here and say, and that's the thing too. A fight is a fight. A lot of the people who are saying, "Oh, this is not competitive," uh, are, are a lot of just fans standing on the outside. You know, mm -hmm. uh, a, a fight is a fight. Anything can happen in the fight. You know, and and Connor's got that 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 beautiful left hand that he feels that he could you know deliver and, and no, he he said himself, nobody can take that left hand. You know, I, I'd like to I like to test that, and like I can absolutely take anybody down that i choose to take down i will even sign a contract with conor mcgregor i'll tell him you know what we'll put it in the contract first round or second round i'm not gonna take you down if you want to do that we'll put it in the contract i'm not gonna take you down michael bisping also shares the same opinion that usman versus mcgregor will not be as predictable as most people will think that'd be a chance of winning a third title that would be insane you know if he could do that like the guy don't like the guy respect the guy don't respect the guy winning three Different weight classes, you know, the belt in three weight classes, that would be ridiculous, you know. Yeah. Do you know what? To be honest, I'll say this. I'll say this. I think Usman versus McGregor would be a lot closer than what people think. If you look at McGregor when he was at 170 against Cerrone, you know, listen, all right, Cerrone had been beaten a few times going into that fight, but nobody beat him that fast. You know, nobody beat him that fast. McGregor did pretty good. Just call it what you will. He did get tapped out, but he did do... Khabib had a hard time taking him down. Yes, he did get him down, and he did control him, and he ultimately got the submission. But he did, you know, he did have a tough time getting him down. And I don't know how Usman's and Khabib's grappling stack up against one another. They're both tremendous wrestlers. So there you go. I, and on the feet, I would lean towards McGregor, of course, for obvious reasons. That's what he does. I'd lean towards McGregor on the feet. So I think Usman versus McGregor would be a way more competitive fight, as I say, than people initially think. I don't want to see Conor fight Kamaru Usman. I don't want to see that fight. Why not? He's too big. He's so big. Usman and is. Usman's so big. And, and and not only so big, he's so skilled and tough, man. Like, I, I learned a lot about Kamaru Usman in the Kobe Covington fight. I, every time people talk to me, and I like Usman, and they, I would say stuff about him, and he would ask me about him, and I'd say, you know, I love Usman. I think he's great. But to this point, he's been able to dictate every single exchange of every single fight, right? When it gets rough, he takes him down. If he doesn't want to take him down, he stands and he beats him up. He hasn't had to deal with any adversity. He's been that good. But... Covington dealt him a lot of adversity, and he went through that and showed just how absolutely tough and durable he is. I thought Kobe was an issue because of the cardio, the pace, the pressure. Usman matched that and exceeded it to finish Kobe, who himself is just a phenomenal fighter. And I just think that all those questions that he answered in that fight with Covington tells me, man, it's going to be very difficult to get that belt off of him for a lot of people. It's He's good, man.